I know this flexibility was one of the things that attracted you to the master's program. So let's start with why it was important to you, as well as your other reasons for applying. As you said, the flexibility was one of the main reasons um, or important factors of wanting to come and uh, do this program. I was looking for a program that would be flexible in both um, potentially how the pro program was delivered, where it could be in-person, could be remote, and then the duration of it, where I could do it short if I want to, or I could, I mean, it could take a few years, or I could kind of go in and out if I'm working on other uh, work projects. And then also content-wise, wanted something that was flexible um, that would let me kind of pick and choose topics. I mean, it'd have a kind of a concentration of areas I was interested in, mm -hmm. but would also allow me to, to focus on other kind of tangential areas that, that I thought were interesting. Mm -hmm. It was also really good from a work point of view because I was able to um, some quarters be able to take more classes than others and then also be able to tailor the classes I wanted around what my work schedule was. Uh, I was working in management consulting for the first mm -hmm. little while so I actually was able to use some of my classes for projects that I was working on. Right, I would like choose a class that was specifically similar to the project I was working mm -hmm. on and so, yeah, I mean, my papers were similar to my work outputs. Yeah, I know that something that a lot of our students really appreciate when they're in the HCP program is that they can immediately apply what they've been learning. So do you have any specific examples of something that correlated like that or kind of within a few months? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, a couple of examples apply. So one of them was working on, yeah, consulting project. It was with an HR department. We were mm -hmm. working on a performance management consulting project. And so there's HR classes that you can or have to take. So taking Bob Sutton's or behavior class, uh, really valuable for that. Another one, I was working on a startup and we needed to do, like I was in charge of marketing. So I took the global entrepreneurial marketing class and got, I think there were four, four or five other people on my team working mm -hmm. on the project. And literally the entire project was all of the deliverables I was doing for my work. <laughs> that and is so, so cool. Yeah, it ended up being really nice. Um, yeah, cause it also is nice because for your homework, you then have coworkers reviewing your homework, mm -hmm. right? To, and giving feedback on it. But also for your work deliverables, you have classmates and uh, professors or advisors giving it kind of feedback on it. Mm -hmm. So it's a, yeah, it was a nice kind of virtual cycle and getting mm -hmm. feedback and, and doing well on that. I mean, the other thing that's nice too is, I mean, it's kind of like all the, the boundaries between those three groups, the co-term, the external masters and the HCP are kind mm -hmm. of porous. Yes, right? Like you can go so. back and forth, right? So, I mean, I did my first three classes as a like HCP or NDO student, and then I moved to a full-time master student. Mm -hmm. And then I did that for the next, I don't know, 25, 30 credits. Mm -hmm. And then for the last little while, I've switched back to an HCP student. Yeah. And so it's really, I mean, it's really nice to be able to go back and forth and, and like, it really is. That's why in our admissions procedures, we kind of, we, we ask the question, but it's mm -hmm. just something that we're not huge because people can switch backwards and forwards kind of as yeah. needed during the program, which is really nice. And so it's the same admissions criteria, it's all the same degree yeah. as well. And then just the NDO that you've been mentioning, the non-degree option. Yeah, I mean, one of the trade-offs of like being like the NDO or the full HCP is you can use that as a supplement to whatever else you're doing. Right, so like if you're like working, these classes supplement your work. A lot of people who are coming back to a master's program, whether it's HCP or whether it's the full-time masters, they're they're coming back for. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but often it's you want to learn a lot. You just yes. like you, like you like learning, right? That intellectual yeah. curiosity. Yeah, a lot of curiosity there. You didn't have the career opportunities you wanted, mm -hmm. right? Right out of undergraduate, and so you're like, well, what could what could amplify that, yes. right? And like, so there's, those are probably two of the most common reasons why I see people coming back. Mm -hmm. And like, they're pretty generous. Offer a pivot. Or, yeah, actually, that is the other one, is a career pivot. Yep, yeah. you, see, you see those three. I mean, overall, it was an amazing experience.